All right, guys. Bobby is about to show us a trick with this lemon right here. So, what are you doing, Bobby? Okay, so apparently, if you stick a skewer in the like butt end of the lemon, then it should like squirt out like in a perfect stream. But I'm not 100% if this is gonna work. So just okay. So I'm just gonna put this skewer straight in to the to this part of the orange. I mean the orange, the lemon. Right? Right? Okay. You got somewhere I'm gonna put this? Yeah, this shrimp. Okay. So we're gonna put some lemon on our shrimp. So let's see if it works. I didn't roll it out first, but Okay. Oh, right. oh, oh no. I mean Like a, you know, oh, okay. Yeah. Or will it come out both ends? Oh. It may come out both ends, Bobby. Oh, maybe. Man. Sorry I let you guys down. <laughs> but it's a great way to squeeze a lemon. That's enough lemon, Bobby. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Tell, it's a great way to squeeze lemon in something and you don't get the seeds. Yeah, that is very true. What's up, guys? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I am super excited to be here. Every time I get on camera, it feels like I haven't seen you guys in a long time. <laughs> well, today I am making some fried rice. Other people may make the fried rice differently, okay? This is how I make it. It is good, good. And it's simple ingredients. Ingredients that most of you probably have in your house, maybe except one or two. But this is what I want to tell you, honey. I gotta tell you this. I bought this pan from Walmart. I used to have an electric one. And I saw this in Walmart while I was picking up some stuff for the fried rice. And I was like, oh, that's cute. But here's the kicker. Here is the kicker, bro. Oh, before I go on, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. You want to do all of that, son? You want to do all of that, son? <laughs> so this is what you do, right? Look at this, y'all. Now y'all know, I'm not trying to buy no new pots and pans, but this is a wok. I remember having a wok and I was like, duh, you make fried rice in a wok. So I just wanted to try it. But that's not it, that's not it. And no, I did not buy this pan because somebody has something to say. No, I bought this pan for my fried rice because I wanted to try it, okay? So, sis, look at this. She cute, she cute. But you know what makes her cute? This thing was $5. Five dollars. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. It was like five dollars and sixty-nine cents. I think I had three quarters in my car and I had a five in my pocket. Five dollars. Tell you for this little walk. I don't know how it's gonna hold up or how it's gonna turn out. But for five dollars, I said, baby, I can try that. You know what I'm saying? I can try that for five dollars. <laughs> so we are about to make some fried rice. You know I make everything good. Everything good. Look, I don't know. This is going to be my first time trying this out. So I don't know if things going to get stuck to the pot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that's all right. I can fix anything. So we're going to put that over there. Let me tell you what we have here. Okay. We got some scrimp on deck. Okay. We have our eggs. We scrambled up like eight, nine, ten eggs. I like a lot of eggs in my fried rice. We have sweet onion and green onion. Um, Bobby decided to dice up some carrots because we had a, a ton of carrots at the house. So these usually take a little longer, so I might throw these in first. Um, we had leftover rotisserie chicken. We're going to use what we have up in here, okay? We don't got no food to waste. No food to waste. So it's going to be shrimp and chicken fried rice, okay? Um, and Bobby made the rice. 
and Bobby made some rice the other day and we let it cool off. So this is our rice right here. This rice right here is basmati rice because we have a ton of bas basmati rice from Connie Chow. Um, we have some soy sauce, some low sodium soy sauce. Now, one of the key features of Asian cooking is sesame oil. So you gotta have your sesame oil um, to cook the dish. Okay, and that is um, a flavor that you will find in a lot of Asian dishes. Sesame oil is what ties everything in together. And let me tell you, you know that there's more than one way to skin a cat. So you may do other things or put other things in your fried rice, okay? This is what we put in here. It's like I always got to have that disclaimer because somebody is always trying to knock you down somewhere. Not everybody, but I'm just saying, you do it the way you do it. Or if there's something else that you put in your fried rice that I could try next time, let me know. Um, the kids won't really eat the peas. Um, the carrots is iffy. I don't know. Bobby doesn't really, she has like allergic reaction to carrots. So I was quite surprised that she cut them up. So she got everything together for me. That's my daughter, if you don't know. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cook the shrimp first to get that out of the way and to season my pan a little bit, you know, to give it that little seafood flavor. And then I'm going to scramble my eggs and then, um, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just rock with me and let's see how we do because I've never used this before. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know how it's going to react. Okay, we're about to find out, honey. Ooh, this making my nerves bad, child. We're going to find out together. But you know what's going to be good? It may be stuck to the pot, but you know I make everything good. Every So calm down. Calm down. We're going to get it together. Okay. good and I still have a huge big pot left so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm about to chow down on my shrimp and chicken fried rice and this is a huge pot I probably could have added a little more sesame oil and then you add your soy sauce 
if you want more soy sauce you want to add it to taste that's why I like to get low sodium because I don't want to overdo it and if you have you know high blood pressure or anything you want to get low so low sodium soy sauce so I hope you enjoyed this video this is so delicious I can't wait to chow down give this video a thumbs up if you do something different to your fried rice leave it in the comment section below I also like to add bean sprouts but I didn't feel like going to the Asian market to get fresh bean sprouts I love bean sprouts in my, in my fried rice and once again I decided to leave out the peas because the kids don't are not crazy about the peas and um, I'm excited it's really really tasty really good lots of flavor and I can't wait to eat all right guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe for your girl until next time later